Carlton is an energetic, outgoing eight-year-old getting ready to start third grade. I want to see what my new teacher's going to be like. Yeah? And on my first test, I'm interested to see if I get an A or a B, because that's the only two th grades my mom will accept. He's in the gifted program at his school, and his mom, Margaret, says she will do whatever it takes to make sure he's armed with all the tools he needs to succeed, even if that means stepping out of her comfort zone. We've never had to live like this before. I've never had to do this. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Margaret's husband was recently disabled, meaning the steady income they've been accustomed to is no longer a reality. We went from X amount of dollars down every week to now that's what we get a month, and that's a real big struggle. So for the first time, the family came here to Middleburg United Methodist Church's Food Bridge, a feeding Northeast Florida partner agency. Every Thursday, they distribute food to those in need. Most people, they're, they're struggling. Um, maybe medical bills are too high, or maybe their rent's too high, or uh, we've had a lot of people that come here and they were got sick and they lost their job, their bosses fired them, and then they just, things went downhill and they needed help. Uh, a lot of times people come on their first time, they're, they're kind of embarrassed and um, we try to encourage them to let them know there's a lot of people in the same situation they're in and we're not here to judge, we're just here to help. But the struggle amplifies in the summertime and back to school brings added costs for families. Craig Van Gundy wanted to do more, so on this day, along with food, parents are receiving bags of school supplies. I well, thank God for places like this that can help because we wonder what we're going to do week from week. We worried about school supplies. Feeding Northeast Florida CEO Luke Leo says no parent should have to choose between feeding their child or getting them ready for school. I have two boys and I know that I just spent nearly $200 on school supplies for them and these were school supplies that were issued, you know, school supply lists issued by the school. So this is what they're telling me as a parent I need to do to, to prepare my, my children for school. So, you know, that, that's, that's a bill that, that most people would say is unexpected. They don't, um, they're not budgeting for that. Uh, and, and that might force them to choose between food and school supplies or food and, you know, clothes for their child to go back to school. Um, shoes, clothes, all that stuff adds up. So, you know, to partner with somebody like uh, the Methodist Church here in Middleburg that, that's giving out food and school supplies, you know, I think that that, that's, that makes a lot of sense. And as a buggy full of fresh produce, meat, dry goods, and school supplies is rolled out to Margaret's car, she's grateful. And Carlton is ready to tackle third grade. So God sent, I'm very, very thankful from the bottom of my heart. This is just like God in action for us. 283,140 people in Northeast Florida are hungry. More than 81,000 are children. For these families, your gift is the difference between hunger and hope. $20 provides 120 meals for families struggling with hunger. Visit feedingnefl.org to give.